Repeated blank characters are a very common problem that shows up when students are trying to make their files ADA compliant. So a repeated blank character is any time there are multiple uses of the enter, space, or tab key, and they're usually used to create formatting to get the page looking a certain way. It's a problem because when screen readers encounter multiple uses of any of those buttons, they assume that there's nothing after that blank space and can either skip a page completely or even assume there's nothing left in a document and simply stop working. So anytime you see these repeated blank characters over here in the accessibility checker, you'll need to go to each iteration of these and address them. And when I say address, I mean you'll actually need to delete all this extra spacing. That can freak people out because they say it needs to look like this, it needs to be a certain way. What I'll actually end up showing you in this video is how to use Word formatting tools to get everything looking the way you want it and still being able to strip out all these repeated blank characters. So we're going to jump right in. So the first thing you're going to want to do is actually click on one of these iterations of repeated blank characters within your document. Now once you have it highlighted, you can actually just click delete and that will get rid of all the extra space for you. Or you can actually just click and highlight all the extra space. Either one is fine. So I'm going to delete all this extra space and then I'm going to place my cursor to the left of the text that I want to be centered on the page. I'm going to right click and go to this paragraph tool. Now in this area for spacing, what I'm going to do is add additional points of space before the text and that's going to center the text on the page and give me the formatting that I want. In this case, I'm going to add 250 points. So now that looks just how it did before. The text is perfectly centered on the page, but it also gets rid of those repeated blank characters. So I'm going to come down and show you another instance of it. So now we have extra space after the title and before the abstract. So in this case, I'm just going to, going to click delete on my keyboard and automatically delete the space. Since I want this abstract to show up on its own new page, I'm actually going to come up here to insert and click page break. And that's automatically going to bump it down. I could, if I wanted, um, right click and go to the paragraph tool and add a certain amount of space, maybe 300, and it would do the same thing. It's just two different ways of getting to where you need to be. So you just want to go through, delete all this extra space, and use either the paragraph tool or the page break to get things situated how you wanted to look at them. I also wanted to show you this situation. So in this case, we have these repeated blank characters actually within the header of the document. And this is one I see a fair bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come through and I'm going to delete this extra space. And there's actually a tool within Word to help add space within the header tool. And it's this insert alignment tab. So I'm going to come up here once I'm within the header. This header and footer tools design tab opens up and I'm going to come to insert alignment tab. So I'm just going to click and it's going to open up this little tool right here. So if I click right, then the number three will be right aligned and it will bump the rest of the title all the way over to the left. So you can play with this tool as you need by clicking either left or center or right, messing with your margin. And that'll allow you to get your um, title all the way over on the left, but still have your enumeration on the right if you want it. 